And then you've got the Enigma, that's Keita. He does really well for the goal. I thought for me, he was, he, again, for me, Keita's whole preseason has been a decline as opposed to an incline. Um, he starts off so well in the first initial preseason games, and his performance levels for me have deteriorated as we've gone through the, through the matches itself. Uh, and again, today, he's, he, he wasn't one of the strong. If we were to stack him and Elliot up, I know we're going to talk about the, 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 our, our choice for Norris, but if we stack him and Elliot up, I'd, I'd, I'd have Elliot over him if I was going to play Milner and Fabinho. No, I, I, honestly, God, Johnny, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm straight nah, up. I think I, on, I, you, know, you don't like that's You don't. Well, that's, you I, don't. I want him to do well. I want him to do well, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I t- remove the hyper role that's around him, and I'm just I'm just looking at a guy who yeah, every boy. time he does one good thing, people are hugely to rush to it. But then you step back and you say, can you rely on him to impact or impose himself on the game? And he doesn't. He's good in the midfield that has players that impose himself in there. Outside of that, he never well, imposed he, He's imposed game. himself in this preseason, if you ask me, from what I've seen of him. He's doing stuff that I've never seen him do, which gives me a little bit of hope. Now, I'm not going to hang hang me hopes on him for the whole season because we all know, look, we've been down this road before with, with Naby Keita. And I'm one of the people who wouldn't doubt his ability at all, but just his availability. Again, look, this conversation we're having already, but... I'm seeing him doing things that I'm not normally seeing him do. He's snapping into 50-50s. He's pressing the goalkeeper when they're getting the ball back. Like you know, he's, doing, he's doing stuff that I haven't seen him doing yet, playing for Liverpool. Not, not since the very first preseason. And look, you can only give the fella the benefit of the doubt because no matter how long it takes him to go, if he gets going this season, that's great for us. And if he doesn't, we won't rely on him anyway. But to say you'd have Elliot over him, I think, I think it's a bit mad. I think... When you're looking at the way preseason has gone, Kate will probably be definitely one of the names on the TG for Norwich. And that's because I, I only think that because I think the rest <coughs> of the lads aren't fit. Like, you don't get me wrong. If I think if Thiago has a full preseason and Henderson has a pr- full preseason, maybe he doesn't play. You know what I mean? But you ju- you have to give him the, the, the benefit of the doubt here. And look, Kate may play Norwich and then not play again for another five or six weeks. And, and that will be the Naby Keita we know. But look, going on what we've seen in the last two or three games, we've seen stuff from Keita now that we haven't really, really, really seen before. And he does impose himself on games. I don't, I don't get the idea that he does nothing. I don't think he has to. Well, well I, he does. He commits no, I, players. I don't, I don't he commits shout. players. You go. That's I've fair seen, enough. But I've, I've seen Wijnaldum impose himself on games where we saw it. there's a game that that Wijnaldum owned the game again. I go back to. I think if Keita is in there. With Fabinho and a Henderson, he's going to look great. I think if he's, I think if he's in there and being asked to be the player that is the one that's driving it on, it just doesn't happen. And I'd, I'd have a big question mark of. Whereas when I looked at um, Elliot today, and, and, and it's not, I, I think Keita will start. I think the midfield is going to be Fabinho, Milner, and Keita that starts against. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. But I know, but I think it's, right. <laughs> it's, it's quite obvious. Well, let, like, I think that's... I think Kate is the first name on the in the midfield uh, lineup. I think he's the first name on the list at the moment, at the moment, because of the fact that Henderson's not back, Thiago Fabinho's just back. So I think he's the first name uh, when it comes to midfield, and then he picks the other two around him. But of course, um, what I well, just my quick two pence. I know you want to probably want to move on from Kate. No, I want to have a word on as well. Oh, okay. So my thing is, my struggle with him was. Um, running back. Now, now, I know that seems the most basic thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> you think to yourself, what do you mean running back? But it's that true is- because because it, to me, it seemed, without having the stats and everything to the eye test, it seemed he's very good at front foot pressing, but when he's turned or when the ball is gone, his tracking back or his speed of tracking back sometimes left me a bit, come on, Nabby, like, but I've seen a different, and I agree with Shawnee, I've seen a different Nabi, and I know his preseason and all that, but I have seen bits that he hasn't done before. Maybe this 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 fitness guy, Avi says it brilliantly, his name, I'm not even going to fucking try to attempt it, right? It's some fitness bloke that we've got in. Almost, almost specifically to make sure Nabi is, is, is fit, stays fit. So look, let's give it a bash. We're not in a position to get rid of him and bring anyone in right now. So we gotta we gotta go with it. I think I, I think we need to be on the fitness thing. I 
you're, it is what it is. You, there's no point in talking about it every week about Nabi mm. Kate's fitness. It may come up as an as an issue when we get you know six, ten, fifteen, twenty games into the season. What I've noticed about Nabi Kate is, and I think you're right. I think some things today in the game where Bill Bell tried to break and he was he was chasing. He gave away an odd free kick, and I've no issue with that. Smart free kicks in the middle of the park. I've no problem with that. Take him down, reset, good, no problem. What I've noticed about him is that. And it's probably from my own kind of watching of him. I've gone into games. I don't want. I'm not bothered if Nabi Keita beats three and four, and you know all this dynamism. I think you've seen him being a little bit more like a mid Liverpool midfielder that you're used to watching. And what I mean by that is, he's kept it simple. He's moved. Up, he's moved up fast. You know, he hasn't done anything over eccentric. He's got through his walk, and I think he's been very, very good this preseason. You know, the fitness thing will always hang over him, but I think overall, looking at him as a preseason whatever four or five games he's played, I don't think he's done much wrong. You know, I think he's I think he's being very good, you know, overall. But I think the biggest thing I've seen him is that he just looks like, yeah, that's that's what a Liverpool midfielder does. That's what a Liverpool midfielder does. He gets it, he gives it to the full back, he gives gets it back, he moves it and stuff like that. He's a he probably doesn't hold it as well as when Alden, but nobody really does. But I think overall over over pre season, I think he's I think he's being fine, but the proof will be in the pudding. You know, I think I think Nabi K to stay as fit. You know, I think he's. He, uh, we've all said it. He's a massive asset to Liverpool if he stays fit. But it also, I think he's, f- for me, finally starting to look like a player that Liverpool want to play in the midfield. And Liverpool have kind of tuned into the midfield a little bit. Now it could be completely wrong. He could go and beat three players at the weekend and score and that, and done do nothing else. But that's just the way I've seen it. 